Hi, this is Saranya Shejala. Welcome to Easy B Tech. Today we are going to discuss about an one of the most important topic, TCP/IP reference model. Let us get into the topic. Okay. So TCP/IP reference model. TCP/IP reference model is an one of the most important reference model we are using nowadays for communication purpose between two devices in the network. Okay. The TCP IP stands for Transmission Control Protocol or Internet Protocol. Transmission Control Protocol or Internet Protocol. It was designed and developed by Department of Defense in the year 1960s. So literally we can say that before OSA model the TCP IP reference model was introduced. but the tcp ip is come to the internet in the year 1990s 1990s before that it it works at an arpanet in the american modern network okay so we will discuss later what is meant by arpanet and what is the internet in the later classes let us come into the topic tcp ip model it was developed prior to the osa model prior to the osa model it is not exactly similar to the osa model so one of the main important thing in tcp ip reference model is it is completely based on a different type of protocols the each and every functionality will be done in tcp ip model by using protocols only by using this protocols the model that provides communication between two devices in the network between two devices in the network like osa model tcp ip model also contains different type of layers in this model we have four layers okay instead of seven layers in tcp ip uh, instead of seven layers in osa model we have a four layers in tcp ip model and what are the functionalities will be done by using seven layers in osa model the same functionalities will be done by the four layers of tcp ip model by using different type of protocols okay so let us see what are the different type of layers the tcp ip model supports the first one network access layer or we can call it as host to network layer host to network layer internet layer the second layer is internet layer third layer transport layer and fourth layer application layer these are the four layers that supports tcp ip model so we compare the layers in osa model and the layers in tcp ip model in a diagrammatic manner let us see the diagram here okay i will show you diagram i will explain deeply okay so see this diagram we compare osa model and tcp ip model see this the first two layers of osa model is data link layer and physical layer okay so the combination of these two layers is a network access layer in tcp ip model the combination of these two layers is a network access layer in tcp ip model so we can say the what are the functionalities that will be done by data link layer and physical layer in osa model the same functionalities will be handled by network access layer in tcp ip model okay the first two layers the combination of first two layers of osa model is a network access layer in tcp ip model and the second one what is the fun in the osa model it is a network layer when coming to the tcp ip model it is a internet layer in simple words we can say the functionalities that will be done by network layer in osa model the same functionalities will be handled by the internet layer in tcp ip model but 
what is the difference between OSA uh, layers functionalities and TCP IP lay, uh, model functionalities? Here, the TCP IP model uses a different type of protocols. By using that protocols, this model achieves the functionalities. That to perform a specific operations means to provide a communication of one uh, device of one network to the device of another network. And provide the communication of one device of one network to the another device to another network. Okay. So the same functionalities what will be done by network layer in OSA model that the same functionalities will be handled by the internet layer in TCP IP model. And the third one, transport layer. So here, what are the functionalities of transport layer will be done by OSA model. The same functionalities will be done by transport layer of uh, TCP IP model. But here, in this transport layer of TCP IP model, the transport layer, layer of TCP IP model uses say, two main protocols TCP and UDP TCP and UDP these are the two main protocols that supports the transport layer of TCP IP model and the fourth layer of TCP IP model is application layer. Here we have a three layers. Session layer, presentation layer, application layer. See what are the functionalities that are handled by these three layers. That functionalities will handle the only application layer in TCP IP model. Okay, so what are the functionalities performed by session layer, presentation layer, application layer? The same functionalities of these three layers will handle only one layer that is nothing but an application layer in TCP IP model. So in the application layer, the TCP IP model application layer has a different type of a protocols to provide communication between client and server. Nothing but an user and the network. In simple words, we can call it the application layer of TCP IP model will act as window between user and the server, client and server. Okay. Okay. These are the mainly uh, differences. So what are the seven layers uh, perform the functions in OSA model? The same functionalities will perform by four layers in the TCP IP model. Okay, this is an actual diagram and the comparison of OSA model and TCP IP model layers. Okay, so let us see what are the different type of protocols that each and every layer supports that each and every layer supports see so this is an diagram that each and every layer supports a different type of protocols i will show you in deeply okay See, you can see the uh, clear manner, in clarity manner, network access layer, internet layer, transport layer, application layer. So, each and every layer has a different type of protocols here. So, the first layer is network access layer. I already said the network access layer defines the mechanism of how data is physically transmitted via the network. It is mainly responsible for to deliver the data and identify the host in the network. To deliver the data and identify the host in the network. It mainly defines the procedure of data transmission over a network. 
procedure of data transmission over a network that means how the data is communicating from one device to the another device in the network what are the transmission the what are the physical transmission media we, we are using it may be either twisted pair coaxial cable optical by optical fiber we have a guided media so this is nothing but a physical transmission media okay and the second thing it is primarily charge of the data transmission between two network devices see uh, the main thing is uh, how the data is transmitted how data rate is there in between two network devices in between two network devices it primarily in charge of data transmission between two network devices and the third one this layer perform functions this layer perform functions such as translating ip address to physical address and encapsulating ip datagrams into network frames means how it can be translate ip address to physical address i will show you clearly here okay see here i have a one system of one network and another system of another network okay so i already said the network access layer functionality means it to perform the functions the translating ip address into physical address means i are converting the ip datagrams into data frames here each and every system contains a two type of addresses ip address ip address and physical address or we can call it as hardware address or mac address physical address okay how we will be convert ip address into physical address in this uh, conversion we need an ping in this we get a ping concept by using ping we are converting ip address into particular physical address physical what is the difference of ip address means for communication purpose means communicate communicating a data from one device to another device we need an ip address for communication purpose and the physical address physical address means to identify the particular device in the network to identify the particular device in the network identification purpose we use identification purpose for identification purpose we use an physical address so the network access layer is mainly uh, responsible how the data is uh, transmitted from uh, one device to another device to the physical medium as well as uh, it it also performs the functionalities for translating ip address into physical address by using an ping concept and also when ip address means it it is in network layer network layer when coming to the physical address means it is in a data link layer okay data link layer in the network layer our data will be in the form of packets or ip datagrams we are talking about an tcp ip model so we have a layer means internet layer in that layer the data will be in the form of 
IP datagrams. IP datagrams and that will be converted into data link layer. In data link layer, that's up, uh, the data is in the form of data frames. Data frames. Okay. So mainly these are the functionalities and this is the purpose of and that is the purpose of network access layer or host to network layer we can call it as in the TCP IP model. That is the purpose of network access layer and TCP uh, or a host to network layer in the TCP IP model and that are the functionalities and uh, Second one is internet layer. Internet layer. So what are the network layer uh, follows the, diff uh, what are the network layer performs the functionalities in OSA model? The same functionalities will be handled by the internet layer in the TCP IP model. By use, by, to perform that particular type of functionalities, the, TC, uh, the internet layer in TCP IP model follows a different type of a protocols. Okay. So see, the internet layer is the second layer. In this internet layer, the data will be formed in the, uh, the data is in the form of IP datagrams. IP datagrams and it also contains and the source and destination address to forward the information across two different networks between host to forward information across two different network between host so what are the different type of functionalities we have in the internet layer is the first one the main functionality of inter internet layer is to send data packets to the destination networks data packets to their destination networks means while communicating data from one network from one network device to another network device that is responsible to addressing logical addressing means i already said in the previous thing it is a combination of source address and destination address the logical addressing is a combination of source address and destination address so while uh, forwarding our datagram from one network device to another network device the datagram will maintain both source address and destination address to send the information and next IP datagram routing comes under the responsibility of internet layer see I already say path determination means to find out the best route okay while communicating data from one device to another device in the network, there are so many paths or so many ways are available. But in that, in that path, we have to find the best route which has a less traffic in the network and to find that best route and we can send that data from source to destination. Okay. And the routing protocols we are used to forward uh, that particular datagram packets from one uh, from source to destination so let us see what are the protocols that uses an internet layer to uh, to achieve this type of functionalities ip ip protocol internet protocol internet protocol we have means uh, the internet protocol is responsible for delivering packets delivering packets from source host to destination host by using an IP addresses IP addresses IP addresses means we have a different type of classes class IP addresses what are the different type of class IP addresses means we have a different classes class A Class A, Class B, up to Class C, Class D, Class E. Okay, so we use currently Class A, Class B, Class C, IP address 
to communicate the data or to send the data from source to destination. So the example of IP address I am writing here 192.168.10.1 one. One this is an sample IP address and we can announce class C IP address because we have a ranges in IP address uh, the ranges from 0 to 255 the range is 0 to 255 IP address we have a range 0 to 255 and each and every class divide one type of range and I write uh, 192 dot 168 dot 10 dot 1 is an example of a classy IP address okay by using this IP address we are sending information from source host to destination host so the IP protocol uh, have a two different versions here okay two different versions um, namely called as an IPv4 and IPv6 present we are using an IP IPv4 internet protocol version 4 which has a higher security and uh, next one ICMP internet control message protocol what is the main purpose of this protocol means uh, it is encapsulated with the IP datagrams and is responsible for providing host with information about network problems means this protocol mainly do that while we are sending information from source to destination is there any problem occur while transmitting the data in the network so it sends the messages about a particular network problem to the user to the user okay so this problem is uh, there in a network it it will give us and one type of message there is a network problem that is the purpose of internet control message protocol next internet group management protocol the internet group management protocol is a communication protocol used by host and adjacent routers on ipv4 networks to establish multicast group memberships means the group of member uh, means the user has a multicasting multicasting means it wants a multiple task uh, wants to perform a multiple task in the network so for that purpose uh, this protocol used by the host and adjacent routers in the network to establish a group memberships group memberships so number of users is a one group member and uh, collection of users in one group uh, we, that will be managed by an internet group management protocol next ARP it is a one of the major important protocol that used by an internet layer so the main use of uh, ARP is converting the IP address into MAC address IP address into MAC address means nothing but an physical address see most of the computer programs or applications use logical address means IP address by using this IP address we are sending information and receiving information from source to destination as well as destination to source okay however the actual communication happens over the physical address that is layer 2 of the OSA model data link layer contains two sub layers LLC and MAC layer the MAC layer maintain this physical address to identify the device in a network so our mission is to get the destination MAC address which helps in communicating with other devices this is where ARP comes into the picture as functionality is to translate IP address to physical address while we are converting the IP address to physical address we use address resolution protocol to for communicating data with other devices in the network these are the different type of protocols that handled by a internet layer of TCP IP 
reference model and the third layer transport layer so the transport layer is placed on the network layer to offer data transmission from a source system process to a destination destination system process it is responsible for end to end communication and error free delivery of the data the transport layer of tcp ip model maintains a two type of protocols tcp and udp before going to that protocols what are the functionalities that has been done by a transport layer means the message is sent to the relevant process on the destination mission by the transport layer okay relevant process means one particular process it will maintain one procedure to send the data from source to destination okay it the, the second thing it also ensures that the complete message arrives without error otherwise it must be transmitted from the source system so in voice model we already read about what are the responsibilities of transport layer is error control and flow control in this the same functionality handled by an tcp ip model transport layer okay so the complete message arrives without error there is no error in the data that is the main purpose and the main responsibility of transport layer it must whenever the error comes in the data while transmitting data from source to destination it must be retransmitted from the source system that is the main functionality and it separates the third functionality it separates and counts the message received from the session layer into segments for creating a sequence see the transport lay in the transport layer the data is in the form of data segments we can call it as segments nothing but as smaller parts okay while transmitting these segments from source to destination okay from source to destination it create uh, it will miss an order because the transport layer maintain a unique number for each and every segment unique number for each and every segment okay while transmitting uh, these segments from source to destination is definitely miss the order but the responsibility of transport layer is while miss the order it again resemble in a sequence manner so what are the two different protocols i already said tcp udp transmission control protocol and user datagram protocol it is known transmission control protocol is a connection oriented protocol connection oriented protocol user datagram protocol is a connection less protocol so what is the difference between two uh, these two protocols we use these two protocols in nowadays the connection oriented protocol it provides reliable data from source to destination means there is no error in the data while transmission there is no error in the data while transmission so it controls the flow of data through flow control mechanism it also controls the error it provides a reliable data from source to destination but for longer distances the tcp is not suitable to deliver the data from source to destination for smaller distance only it is a possible for that sake to communicate data for longer distances we introduce a new concept that is nothing but an connectionless or wireless transmission the user datagram protocol it is a connectionless but in this the data is not in reliable manner means the error will be occur, the error definitely will occur in the data while transmission but the main advantage is for longer longer distances for remote areas also we can communicate data from source to destination by using this user datagram protocol and the last one application layer this layer performs the functions of top 3 layers of voice model means i already said the combination of application presentation and session layer of voice model is an only application layer of tcp ip model so to handle the several functionalities the application layer 
uses different type of protocol means HTTP, HTTPS, FTP, SMTP, Telnet, DHCP, etc. Okay, functions of application layer. Let us look about the functions of application layer. It provides access to global information about numerous services and objects from distributed database sources. It provides a global information provides a global information and services and objects from distributed databases source. So we have a database in a server. So it provides a global information from a distributed database source to the user. The application layer enable user to connect to a remote server. Means what are the different type of users connected to the server will be accessed by a uh, will be accessed different type of network resources from that uh, server. It also offers a variety of email services. Email service also it provides. Okay. What are the, uh, the application layer protocols? HTTP and HTTPS. HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. It is used by the World Wide Web to manage communications between web browsers and servers means client and server client and server whereas HTTP is also same but S stands for secure it is highly secure for government it will be used HTTPS SMTP stands for simple mail transfer protocol for mail applications for to sending the mail from client to server so this SMTP server will uh, protocol will be used okay FTP. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. It is mainly usable, used for transferring the web page files. Transferring the web page files from their creator to the computer. It will act as a server to transfer different type of files from computers to the internet as well as we can do download different type of files from server to the computer. It is reliably and efficiently. And DNS, domain name system. It is a very, very main important topic. I will see what, uh, I will uh, draw the diagram. What is the purpose of DNS? So how, uh, how it will be used in our systems? See, DNS means the main functionality of DNS is Converting the domain names into IP addresses. So I am drawing here two systems. Okay. So this is a client. And this is a server. I am user and server. Okay. So, I make a connection here. We know the domain. Domain names means google.com. Gmail.com. Gmail. Okay. Yahoo, whatever it may be. So these are the domain names. But the server doesn't understand this domain name. Doesn't understand. Doesn't understand this uh, domain names. It only understand the IP addresses. It only understand the IP addresses. For that sake, to make a connection between client and the server in between DNS will be there DNS will be there so this DNS convert the domain name into IP addresses convert the from client it will domain name then DNS in in the middle the DNS will be there it will be converted into the particular IP address. 
particular IP address. Then server understand that again it will give an information in the form of IP address but we didn't understand that IP address. Again the DNS convert that IP address into domain name. So these are the functionality uh, that DNS will act as. So in between server, client and server it will act as a mediator to convert the domain name into IP address to give information to the user as well as the server. That is the main functionality of a DNS. DHCP, Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, is a network management protocol. It is used on the internet protocol networks and automatically assigns an IP address to the devices connected to the network using client and server architecture. I will show the I will show one diagram here how DHCP assigns IP addresses to each and every computer that connected to the network. So let us see the example here. I am taking in four systems here. Okay, I'm taking four systems that will be connected to the one network. Okay, so here in the first system, I'm installing a DHCP. I'm installing a DHCP. Okay, while I am installing a DHCP in the first system, so this system will act as a root system of remaining devices. Root system of remaining devices and this system allocates a temporary IP address to each and every system. Allocate a temporary IP address to each and every system to communicate the data from uh, uh, to communicate data or to send the data to receive the data from the server. So it will act as re root system while in one system I am installing a DHCP that will act as root system. So from that system we are assigning a temporary IP address to each and every system that connected to the network to perform a different type of actions by using the server. Okay, these are the different type of protocols that supports an application layer. Okay, so in this video we see what is the reference uh, TCP IP reference model and what are the different layer that consists of reference model. Okay, and each and every layer supports a different type of protocols and we also see that what is the functionality of each and every protocol that supports that layer. Okay, kindly like, share and subscribe EasyBTech for more videos. Thank you.